Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today we're going to load up the trailer and we're going to load it full of scrap metal. We've got a ton of scrap metal that we found here on the property. It's all piled up over in the pasture, the most of it, but there's scrap metal probably in every building around here. So I just got done loading up the metal from the ceiling, that from putting the ceiling in the workshop. And then I've got this 55 gallon drum that I've been filling full of small metal. So the very bottom of it's full of bolts and screws and a bunch of just brackets and small metal. And of course there's a bunch of wire that we put in here as well. I'm hoping to get this barrel back when it's done so that I can fill it up again for next time. But we're gonna take this all to the scrap yard. We're probably gonna get a few dollars for it. I'm not really worried about the money so much. I just wanna get this stuff out of the property and gone so it can be recycled. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go out to the pasture and start loading everything up. Well, the first thing I need to do is get this load of scrap lumber out of here. It's going to go over to the wood pile because that's where it's going to be used on the woodshed. So what you didn't see is I actually ended up dropping about half of these on the ground and I had to pick them up. And I found out that these oak 2x4s being stacked like this, it looks like a lot of them are starting to rot. They're holding moisture. So I'm gonna, I need to use these soon. And they're all gonna go bad. Well, for some reason, there's not as much metal here as I remember. It's, I guess it always seems like a bigger job. So I don't think this will be too bad. I'd like, there's a lot of small metal here, so I'd like to set up another barrel or something to be able to throw all the small stuff in. I think this here will work. I think this was a homemade pig feeder and I think this barrel is supposed to go on top of it. Well, maybe in it. There we go. Then I think I can just throw the small stuff in here and it'll keep it from blowing out on the road. Try to throw all the flat stuff on the bottom and then cover it up with the big stuff, I guess. So these were cast iron pig waterers. I've got several of these. So here's one that's not completely broken. I take it they would have pushed down on that and then water would have filled inside of that. Now those were some old cast iron registers. I know people were gonna tell me I should try to sell those, but it ain't worth my time and effort to mess with that. All right, I've went around. I think I've got everything, pretty much everything that I want to scrap. So there's one last thing. It's a chisel harrow that we dug out of the ground over here. And we're gonna drape that over the top so that there's something heavy uh, weighing everything down.
I'm going to go ahead and throw the bucket on the tractor and then we're going to try to smash this down a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and get everything strapped down we'll take it to the scrapyard. So ideally you want to have like wooden sides around the trailer, try to keep everything from falling out on the road or on other cars. But uh, this, this scrap yard is only like 8-10 miles away, it's through the country so I can drive like 20 miles an hour and get there and I shouldn't have anything fall off. It's not like I do this every day. If I did this all the time you'd, you'd definitely want a better setup than this. So this is my first time ever taking stuff to the scrap yard, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna say this is less than a ton. And I, somebody told me the other day they thought metal prices were only about $80 a ton right now. So um, we'll wait and see what we end up getting for it. I'm gonna guess it's less than 2,000 pounds, but it doesn't matter what I get for it, I'm gonna be happy that it's gone. So let's go to the scrap yard and see how this goes. All right, I just got back from H&S Recycling and that went fairly well. First time ever scrapping metal. So I just had to pull in to the scales and they got my weight and then I pulled around. We got me unloaded and then we just waited again. So that took only about probably 15 minutes. It's pretty quick. Um, so the weight was 1160 pounds. So I said it wasn't gonna be a ton. It was uh, just over a half a ton. So I knew it wasn't gonna weigh very much, but uh, and it was $80 a ton for scrap. So ended up being like 46 bucks that we got, but we didn't do it for money. We did it to be able to clean up the place and get some of the metal out of here. So that has needed to be done for a long time. So in the past, I've always, I've always relied on somebody to come and pick up the metal. And a lot of times the people who would do it would, would do it on their way home from work. They'd stop in, grab a load. And it was just whenever they had like free time or passing by um, that way they didn't spend any extra gas and it it may have took a month or so for somebody to clean up a pile of metal so at least this way I, you know I did it myself and I'll definitely do it again that was easy um, if you're wanting to do this and try to make money at it you know a lot of people ain't going to want to try to mess with all that little stuff I had they're going to want big stuff they're going to want farm implements they're going to want cars they're going to want weight right they're going to want something that weighs a lot but uh for my purposes, just cleaning up a property, this actually was pretty good, pretty easy. So you can see we're not completely cleaned up. We got a bunch of this black plastic pipe that used to go between all those pig waterers. We've got some old hose, we've got some PVC conduit here, but most of the metal's gone now, so that's good. We got that all hauled away, and most of this stuff is stuff that needs to go in a dumpster. 
Now we got some old garage doors here. We probably need a big dumpster for those. Um, but at least this plastic pipe, I can cut that into small pieces, put it in a trash bag, and put it in the, the dumpster up front. And that's probably what I'll end up doing today. I'll probably try to clean this up as best as I can and just leave the big stuff. So this is a concrete pad where grain bins used to sit over here and there. And this is probably like 12 inches thick. It's a real thick concrete pad. You're just not gonna get rid of it. So might as well use it. So it's gonna, it, I think this will be a great high traffic area. So we're gonna end up probably putting a water trough right here in the middle of this. And then on that grain bin pad over there, once it's cleaned up, we'll put a hay ring over there and then so this will be our high traffic area to feed and water the steers and then this small fenced in area here will eventually be probably like a feed lot or a winter lot where the steers will be in the winter when there's no grass in the pasture so we'll probably just keep them in here and feed them at least that's what i'm thinking right now but um, as far as scrap and metal i think we're done with that for a while but i guarantee we'll end up finding more over the next year we'll probably have to do this every so often but i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and uh, try to make this look a little bit better but i think that's going to be it for this video guys so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one